video, we're going to look at a style of question which is quite common in maths exams. And that's the type of question where they give you a calculation and the answer, or where it gives you a, a, typically a multiplication or a division and the answer. And then they give you some calculations that are based around that. So let's have a look at some examples. So here we've got 67 times 34 equals 2,278. Now the first one we've been asked to calculate is 67 times 340. So the 67 stayed the same, but the 34 has become 10 times bigger to become 340. Now if you make one number in a multiplication 10 times bigger, the answer will become 10 times bigger. So that means that our answer to this multiplication will be 10 times bigger. So in other words, it's going to be 22,780. Next. Now instead of 67 times 34, we've now got 6.7 times 34. So one of our numbers has become 10 times smaller. So what that means is our answer will become 10 times smaller. So instead of being 2,278, we're going to have 227.8. Well, that's it. So if one of the numbers in the calculation is 10 times smaller, the answer will become 10 times smaller. And finally, instead of having 67 times 34, we've now got 670 times 340. Now each number has become 10 times bigger. So that means we're multiplying our answer by 10 and we're going to times it by 10 again. In other words, we're going to make it 100 times bigger. So we're going to take our number, we're going to make it 100 times bigger, so we're going to times it by 100. And that means our answer is 227,800. And that's it. So um, three useful topics for this, um, I should say this at the beginning actually, is being able to multiply and divide by 10, 100, or 1,000. As you've seen already, that's very important. Estimation, you'll see in some of our later ones that, that that can become very useful as well. And multiplying decimals can be a useful topic as well. These are three topics which are quite useful to, to know before carrying on or, you know, to, you know, they can help you with this topic. Okay, next. Given that 19 times 312 is equal to 5,928, write down the value of the following. Okay, so in the first one, our 19 has become 190, and our 312 has stayed the same. So what that means is it's become 10 times bigger, one of the numbers is 10 times bigger, that means our answer will become 10 times bigger. So our answer will be 59,280. Next. Now this time, interestingly, we've changed the 19 to 190, so we've made that one 10 times bigger. But the 312 has actually become 10 times smaller. Now if you make one number 10 times bigger and they've one 10 times smaller, the answer will actually stay the same. So it's going to be 5,928 for that one. And the last one here, well, we've made the first number 10 times smaller. We've actually made the second number 100 times smaller because if you look, we've divided 19 by 10 to get 1.9. We've actually divided 312 by 100 to get 3.12. So we've made one number 10 times smaller and we've made the other one um, 100 times smaller. So in other words, we're going to divide by 10 and then divide by 100. And that's the same as dividing by 1,000 because if you divide by 10 and then divide by 100, it's the same as dividing by 1,000. So that means that we're going to divide our answer by 1,000. So 5,928 divided by 1,000, that's going to be 5.928. And that's it. Okay, next. Now, at this time, it's slightly different. We've got 84 times 5.3 equals 445.2. Now, this time, what they've done is, instead of having a multiplication, we've got a division. But interestingly, our answer has become the number we're dividing. And one of the numbers in the multiplication is what we're dividing by. I just want to quickly show you something. 5 times 2 equals 10. Well, obviously, you know that. But if I take the answer and I divide it by one of the numbers in the multiplication, so divide by 5, we're obviously going to get the other number in the multiplication. So if I have a look at this multiplication here, or this division here, we've got the answer. And it's just stayed the same. And we're dividing by one of the numbers in the multiplication. So the answer is going to be 5.3. And that's it. So I write down the value of that. It's just going to be 5.3. Next. Now, these questions, um, we've got 4,452. Uh, and we're going to divide by 8.4. Um, so the answer is going to be linked to the 5.3. It could be 5.3. It could be 53. It could be 530. It could be 0.53 and so on. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use estimation to help me with this question. Because the numbers have changed and it's the division. So I'm just going to use a bit of estimation to help me. Okay. So instead of 4,452, I'm going to round it. Okay. So I'm going to say that's approximately equal to 4,000. And I'm going to divide it, instead of by 8.4, I'm going to round it to 8. I'm going to do that division, and I'm going to get 500. Now, obviously, this isn't perfect because I've rounded them both. So actually, this, I've rounded this number quite a lot, um, 5,000, or 500. Um, but 
what this does is it actually lets me know sort of roughly the size of the answer. So if I do uh, 4,000 divided by 8, it's equal to 500. So it means that this number divided by this number is around about 500. Now, because it's to do with the 5.3, um, the best answer, the answer I think would be most suitable, would be 530, because that would be quite close to 500. Um, but obviously, you know, um, you know, it's not really close because of rounded the numbers, but it gives me an idea of what the answer should be. Um, because obviously with the 5.3, I could have made 53, I could have made 530, I could have made 5,300, but 530 is sort of closest to the estimation. Okay, and the last one here, uh, 4.452 divided by 0.53. Um, again, uh, I've got a number that's linked to the answer, and the 0.53 is obviously linked to the 5.3, so my answer is gonna have to be something to do with eight and four. Um, but what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to round this to make it a bit easier for myself. So 4.452, I'm going to round it to 4, and I'm going to divide it by 0 0.5. Now, if I divide 4 by 0 0.5, I'm saying how many halves are in 4? Well, there's 8 halves in 4, so it's roughly equal to that, so it's equal to 8. So my answer is going to be close to 8. Now, if I've got 84, the closest I can get that to be is 8.4 by making uh, putting the decimal point there. So that means that my answer to my calculation is going to be 8.4. Okay, and finally, at this time we've got, given that 48 times 12 is equal to 576, write down the value of the following. Now, this time what I've done is, instead of having 48, I've changed it to 49. Now, another way of looking at this, we can look at it as 48 times 12, or another way to look at it is 48 lots of 12. So 48 lots of 12 is 576. So 49 lots of 12, that's just one more lot of 12. So in other words, I'm just gonna add one more 12 onto my answer. So I'm gonna do 576, but I'm gonna add on an extra 12. The reason is I had 48 lots of 12, I've now got 49 lots of 12, so that's an extra 12. So that means my answer will be 588. That's it. Okay, next. Um, again, similarly, I've changed the 12 to a 13. In other words, I've um, so I've added one on to the 12. So in, another way of looking at this is instead of saying it's 48 times 12, what we could say is it's 12 lots of 48. And I've changed that to 13 lots of 48. In other words, I've got an extra 48. So I'm gonna take my answer and I'm gonna add an extra 48 onto it. So six plus eight is equal to 14, carry the one. Seven plus four is 11, plus one is 12, carry the one, and that's six. So the answer would be 624. And finally, um, instead of having 48 times 12, I've changed it to 48 times 24. In other words, I've just doubled one of the numbers in the multiplication. Well, if you double one of the numbers in the multiplication, that'll just double your answer. So we're gonna double our answer. So we're just going to double 500, uh, 576. Uh, so we're just gonna do 576 doubled or times by two. And we'll do that multiplication. Uh, two times six is equal to uh, 12, carry the one. Two times seven, 14, add one, 15, carry the one. Two times five is 10, plus one is 11. So we just double our answer and we've got 1,152. And that's it. So that's it. So whenever you've been given a question where it says, uh, you know, given that, the things to watch out for are, if it's a multiplication, have they just times it by, you know, have they just times one of the numbers by 10 or 100 and so on, and then you'll do that to the answer. Or if they have, they divided it by 10 or 100 and so on, you do that to the answer. Um, if they have um, if they have changed it to a division that means it's going to probably be one of the well it will be one of the answers in the multiplication but you might have to change it if they've changed the numbers and finally watch out for if they give you a multi uh, multiplication in the answer and they just add one on to it then you're going to want another lot of one of them and so on okay